Good morning, everyone. It's Hope, and I've got a quick little garden update for you. Um, as you can see, uh, my garden's growing like crazy. These uh, trellises I made for my beans are seven feet long, and as you can see, I got beans going almost all the way to the edge already. They're getting huge, and I've already been harvesting some beans. I'm kind of fighting them for some Japanese beetles. You can see what they do. I'll show you this. See this leaf is kind of just like lace? That's because a Japanese beetle ate it all up. And, um, fortunately though, they don't seem to eat the beans themselves. And I'll show you some of the beans we got going. I picked a bunch yesterday, but I'm sure I can find a few more in here for you. But here's one. Um, so I think there's a bunch over here. There's one. You see them hanging down here? There's one there. So they're gonna be going for a while since the plant is still blooming up here and it's going to continue to bloom all the way up the trellis. Um, I've got some little tiny baby okra. I don't know if you guys have ever seen baby okra. There it is right there. That's a little baby okra. Hi. Uh, we've got tomatoes on. Again, these are just those little volunteers that came up. Beets are doing really well back here. These are all beet greens. I got a couple that are pretty big. And if I pull back, you can probably see some of the beets down in there. These are beans. More beans. I know I'm like doing like a bean experiment this year. These are all um, purple beans. They're super fun. Uh, there's quite a few on the vines as I pull back in here. You can see all the beans. Just waiting for them to get a little bit bigger. These are um, cucumbers. They're blooming. And I've got some teeny tiny baby cucumbers on. There's one right there. Baby cucumber. And I've got Anaheim peppers. My other peppers are being a little slow, but that's okay. Um, Anaheims are fantastic and they can be used just like any green pepper. Um, this is kind of fun. You can see what the beans are doing. They're climbing up my tomato cage, so I usually try to redirect those. These little tendrils are like, um, they're kind of sticky like Velcro, so they just hold on to whatever they can find to climb on. Big tomato plants here. <laughs> Look, I've got a bean coming over from this guy, or yeah, a bean. And he's hooking up into my tomato plant, so I'm gonna put him over here. <laughs> it's not really where I want him, but oh, he wants to go back. That's funny. We'll, we'll twist him around there. So these are my um, tomatoes. They're getting pretty big. And it's funny, I'll show you what I did. So these tomatoes are the ones I planted on purpose, and they're supposed to be much bigger than these tomatoes. So I gave these guys the giant cage and they're not filling it up yet, but that's okay. So as we come into the zucchini, you can see I've got big blooms with bees in there doing their thing. There it is. They're probably getting a little irritated with me. And then if we pull back in here, if I pull that aside, you can see this little baby zucchini right there. Okay, so I've got zucchini going, and then of course my carrot flowers still have not gone to seed, but the bees and wasps are loving them. And as promised, this is my dill garden. I refer to it as my dill forest, because I have way, there's a hummingbird. Um, sorry, it like flew right by my head. Um, because I have way too much dill. So if you'd like some dill, give me a shout out and you'll come over and we'll dig up some dill for you. Um, half of this at least needs to come out, but I was waiting to pull it until I had someone to give it to. As you can see, it's all gone to seed, but that's okay because dill's good that way. And then coming over here, I've got a ton of mint and a lot of it's growing where it shouldn't be. So again, come over and get some mint. And um, I've got a little extra chamomile, lots of mint, lots of dill, some thyme and some sage. If you wanna give me a shout, come by and um, I'll share. That's it for my update today. If you guys have any questions about starting your own garden, or questions about a garden you have already going, give me a shout or send me a message and we'll connect.